coloring friends and welcome to my updated coloring book collection i will take you through a journey of all my colored pages also the not finished pages and i will show you the books i haven't colored in yet so let's begin it might take a while the first book i have to show you is smoky screen by hannah carlson in English, it will be published as the Jewelry Box, I am sure. I have colored this in another book for my friend. I will insert a picture right here. And I have started just one other page and finished it. <laughs> and it is this mouse with this magical bottle. Next up, we have Tidavav or Seasons by Hannah Carlson. Let's see what I have done in this one. Here we have the first page. A <laughs> experimental work in progress. And just a background, Just trying out a new technique. So many lovely pages here. Here we have a watercolor background with pencils. Another watercolor background with pencils. And seems like that's it. Here we have Maggie's Screening or Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. I'm pretty sure I have one. Yeah, here we go. A work in progress. Going to be sure that I don't miss anything. I know you guys want to see everything. That's a very bad work in progress. Probably will never get back. I really like that little village. One of my first time coloring skin. I believe this was my very first watercolor background. Here we have two works in progress. Oh, and my swan. I really, really remember loving that one. Quick inktense work. And here I have just started a background. Still needs loads and loads of work. So many works of progress in this book for some reason. Maybe I will take some time to fix that. And that's it. Summer Nights or Summer Nut by Hannah Carlson. A quick pastel background and some coloring. Again, pastel background and some coloring. <laughs> My first try at gem box. More pastel and pencils. And again, pastel and pencils. This was one of my first coloring books. Here we go, a magenta feather. I think that was actually my first try in Hannah's books. The frog was one of my first as well. And some flower exercise. This one, I think, was actually my first finish in Hannah's books. Here we go. I don't think it is anymore. Oh, here we go. Some mushrooms and title page. Here we have Dark Drama or Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. Many of you might know that I'm trying to finish this one. <laughs> So it'll be exciting to show you what I have actually done in this book. I have a lot of ideas written down. I have 
to finish this crown soon. And I need to find out how to fix this fish. <laughs> Nothing missed. Started a wet acrylic background. <laughs> Absolutely love flipping through this book. It'll be so wonderful when it will one day be finished. Here we go. Next up we have one of my newer books, Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Makova. And I only have one and it's a work in progress. But I'm working on this currently so you'll soon see it finished on my Instagram. Now this one is hard to pronounce. I believe it's Caron Lahad Nosti and in English it would be Magical Delights. This is also by Clara Markova, and I have only started one page. Her style is so difficult for me, but I just adore it. Here we go. This is quite the book, Sager og Segner by Emilia Lidehal Uber. Many people want it, but I think it's out of print. That's so sad, it's a wonderful book. And I have had many lovely hours with it. And I know I'll have many more. I just love the style. Really simple and yet detailed and quite easy to go about in color. Mid Riding Hood got her background but never got her colors. That's sad. <laughs> almost forgot to show you the title page. This is Skymningstimen or Nightfall by Maria Trolle. Don't have too much in this one, but I do have a few pieces and some works in progress. Don't think that's a surprise to anyone anymore. <laughs> And we are flipping, we are flipping and we are looking. I know I have at least one finished page I have. There we go. The owls. This one I haven't colored in in a while and that's a crime. This is Blumster Mandala. Um, I think it's called Twilight Garden in English. It's also by Maria Trolle. Let's see what we can find. A squirrel. And a little house. And a very old, very old <laughs> work in progress. One of my first colored pages with pencils. <laughs> oh, here we go. A colorful one. And here, look how the white gel pen has transferred. I think that's so sad. Oh, this is a slurry one. <laughs> Vivi Suga in Vem by Maria Trolle. I think it would be translated as Vivi looks for a friend. All these pages can be taken out and they are amazing with water media. There we go. This is with pastel and pencils though. But I do have some with ink tins. This one. Ink tins and polychromos and as you can see it doesn't buckle. That's amazing, right? 
I've colored another page in here, but it was a present from my grandparents. And some of you who have watched my earlier videos might notice and recognize this one. Here we go. We have Sacrolect or Fairy Tales by Emilia Lederhold Uber. And we have a few finished in this one, I know. Let's find them. Here's one. And here's another one. I have two more pages than those I can show you because one has been taken out and another is in a totally different book. Let's just insert the pictures right now. And flip through the rest to make sure we haven't missed anything. Don't think we have. Yep, that was Sagolint. This is Romantic Country, the third tale by Iri. Haven't done a whole lot in this one, but do have something to show you. Absolutely love this. It took quite a while to finish. But I have another one in here that need some love because I do love this page I believe that's all yeah here we have romantic country the first one also by Iwi and I believe I only have one finished page in here and here we go quite proud of that one and then we have similar Schnurva by Tomislav Tumik this was a gift from a very sweet friend from the coloring community on Instagram. So intimidating, so difficult to color, but I'm working my way through on this work in progress. This is The Magical Journey by Lizzie Mary Cullen. I use mainly my Derwent ink tins in this one, just because it's so fun. I usually go in with some normal colored pencils afterwards just to define the shading a bit. I enjoy this book so much. It's just like letting go and letting the colors flow. I love it. And of course I have more by Lizzie Mary Cullen. This is The Magical City. Also mainly uh, my <laughs> Derwent ink tents in this one, but I have done a few pages with pencils. This one was Prismacolors. A work in progress. And another work in progress. Don't want to cheat you of anything. I want to show you every little bit I have. I believe I have one more. There we go. Hmm. I know I have more in this book. Where is it hiding? Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and just the intro page. This is one of my most colored in books, Mythomorphia by Kirby Rose Sands. So here we go. I actually forgot that I started this one. It deserves to be finished like all my other pages. <laughs> So much to color, so little time, right? Don't want to cheat you. 
There we go. Feels like there's something and there was. Hmm. Very much a failed background. Might just use some black paint to fix it. And I know you know this one. And here's my second version of the book. This one has some printing mistakes. But I do have a finished page in this. There we go. And I also have a page I have taken out. Let me just show you. Here we go. The hippogriff. Here we have. Imagimophia, again by Kirby Rose Sands. I ink tints and pastel page. I believe this is polychromas and pastels and my Crayola colored pencils. Pastel pencils and the rind, color soft and polychromous, I believe the hairs was. I failed background again. And the title page. Animorphia by Kirby Rose Sands. A watercolor pencil experiment. Did I miss anything? No, good. And the two bulls. I believe I have one more in here. There we go. Oh, how could I forget this one? My beautiful Galaxy Ram. Again, having a lot of problems with gel pen and black backgrounds. A grayscale coloring book. Beautiful nature. This is by Nicole Stocker. Quick flip, because the only one I have had courage to color is the title page. Let me get a bit closer. Here we go. Another beautiful grayscale book by Nicole. This is Beautiful Creatures. Again, I haven't been the most courageous person, but I have done a background. Where is my little owl guy? There we go. This next one is a fun one, Botanical Wonderland by Rachel Reinert. I have only a work in progress and one finished page in this one. If it will show itself. Work in progress. I think that's pretty clear. And a finished one. This is the Jasmine Beckett Griffith coloring book. By the same artist. And this small little cutie, Medusa. And another little cutie. I beg cutie, my first time coloring a person. It was so scary. And here we go, the last one in this book. Keeping in the people theme, yeah, we have Astro Inklings by Tanya Bond. I'll be careful not to skip anything. Aquarius, oh, Aquarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Is that all? Hmm, that's all. And this is Inklings again by Tanya Bond have two finished pages to show you in this one. This is the first one. And that means I must have missed the other one. There we go. A tiny one. Escape to us by good wives and warriors. And don't worry. When I have something to show you, I will get a bit closer. Flipping, flipping, flipping. <laughs> Do I really only have this? Yeah. 
I have one page to show you. Sorry. <laughs> Another tiny one by Good Wives and Warriors. This is Escape to Wonderland. I do believe I have more to show you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Somebody is being a jackass outside. <laughs> Oh, I actually have quite a few pages in this book. There we go. And the last tiny one, Escape to Shakespeare's World by Good Vibes and Worries. A little Prismacolor piece. I really, really love that gem at the top. And the blood. <laughs> flippy, flippy, flippy. What do we have? Oh, my Derwent Artist test page. Such soft colors. I believe I have, yeah, here we go. I did have a work in progress. This is a new one to me. The Bicycle Coloring Book by Shan Gian. And I have only a background and a little bit of shading to show you. Hopefully I will have more soon. Here we have a beautiful hardback book from Holland with Love by Masha van den Berg. Again, so much to color, so little time. So I only have one page in here. Another quite new one to me. Relax and Color Mandalas by Sun Life Drawing. And I have a finished one to show you somewhere <laughs> I know I have it there we go again we have that white gel pen problem don't know why it happens here we have nice little dragons by Tanya Bogemas Dolova I think hope I'm not butchering the name too much I do have a dragon in this one there we go and it is kind of glittery. I don't know if you can see it, but it is in the bubbles. This is Johanna Bassford's newest book, Ivy and the Yankee Butterfly. I was so lucky to actually get this one directly from Johanna, so yay! I know a lot of you have seen this one. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> I have any more on this? Hmm. Probably not. Oh, I did. I did. Right here. And again, the title page or the name page. Written by Johanna herself. I think that is pretty cool. Here we have Lost Ocean by Johanna Bassford. Haven't colored in this in a long time. So you will be seeing some of my very first colorings before I got all my fancy pencils. I believe all this is done with Marco Raffin pencils. Yeah. And um, Marco Raffin and what is it called? Come on. Soft pastel. That was it. No, no. Don't want to cheat you guys. We have a little bit here. <laughs> the Child Magical Jungle by Johanna Bassford. A little bit newer coloring, but I don't have any favorites in this book. This one could probably be pretty cute if it was finished. I really don't want to show you, huh? <laughs> the book is keeping its color secret. A Derwent Ink Temps page. I do, actually, I lied. I do love this title page a lot. <laughs> this is the Danish version of The Enchanted Forest 
by Johanna Besford. Again, this is some of my very, very first coloring you'll be seeing. This is even before I got my marker with theme, so this is just Stiddlers and Fabric Castell kit lines. Really, I just got my soft pastels and I love them so much. One of my very first coloring. Look at that shading. <laughs> And here we are even back to fine liners. That's a rare sight in any of my books. Don't know what I was doing here. <laughs> I remember being so proud of this one with my cheap, cheap Stettler pencils. And I believe this was actually eyeshadow. <laughs> so. This was actually Derwent Artist Pencils, but I never got further. Oh, that's the colors I used. <laughs> and again, a rare side of fine liners. This is the Danish version of The Secret Garden. And a Carlson's first coloring book. Again, you don't... You won't be seeing anything too fantastic. Haven't touched this in years. Oh, I remember being so proud of the owls. <laughs> oh, and fine liners. I think this was my second page ever. And of course, I never finished it. My first page in colored pencils. And here we go. Always Colouring's first page ever done in Stettler Fineliners. And I hate it. <laughs> More fineliners. Oh no. Get away. Oh no, fineliners. <laughs> but it got me somewhere and that's the important part. Tried out eyeshadows. Oh no, dear, why did I? Fine liners and early pencil work. My test page when I first got my polychromos. Yeah, did not dare to touch very hardly with my new pencils. Oh, more fine liners, please stop. <laughs> and pencil and I cannot remember if it was pastels or eyeshadow but it's cute now we are coming to the books only with works in progress this is mine wonderlike world by Marcia Vandenberg and this is all I have done that is so sad because it's a very nice beautiful book in great quality Magnificent Birds by Svetlana Malusheva I believe I have two works in progress in this one. <laughs> Providing some flipping entertainment. <laughs> Come on, I know you. There. I actually quite like this one. Maybe I should finish it soon. Oh, not maybe, I should. This is a fun little book. The Tastiest Coloring Book Ever by Jonathan Sim, Diego Guevo and Ronino Bictas. And I have a page where I have colored some pairs. I wanted to make a page all about green color combinations. But of course I never wrote down the combinations and then the whole idea just flopped. This is Microscopic Monsters Coloring Book by Magnus Frederiksen. This is really fun. It's not my style so much, but the quality of the paper is excellent and it takes water incredibly well. It might be fun to experiment with watercolors actually. This is a new color too background. A cute little postcard book. Winter Drummer or Winter Dreams by Hannah Carlson. And 
There we go. This is Color Your Life. This is actually a journal by Masha Vandenberg. And I have used it as such. Bit of coloring. <laughs> and I have begun to use it to color code what I might want to use. And I actually think it's pretty fun. Because you have lots of writing pages. But you also have some coloring pages. That is fun. This is Irene by Nicholas F. Chandra Vianata. I have only colored one page in this one. The Flower Year by Leela Dooley. <laughs> Tried to be smooth, but I wasn't. And I have only colored this one. Portrait of the Mermaid by Sarah Burrier. And this is the only finished page. Now we have this huge pile of untouched coloring books. To be clear, I still love them very much, every single one of them. I just haven't had time to color in them yet. First up we have From Me To You by Karen Olson, a postcard book. The postcard book of Deck Drama by Hannah Carlson. And then we have a transforming lens sketches from photographs and adult coloring book with pictures by Tim Ford. Then we have this wonderful romantic country, The Second Tale by Eri. The official Game of Thrones coloring book. And I don't think it is <laughs> illustrated by George R. R. Martin, but yeah, that is what it is. <laughs> Here we have The Magical Christmas by Lizzie Mary Cullen, where the wildflowers, oh sorry, where the wildflowers grow. And it is by Adriana Picker. I believe this is the Rhapsody in the Forest coloring book. Can't read Japanese, so. And this must be Menua the Bonhuet, I believe. Yeah, it is. Here we have Phantomorphia by Kirby Rosans and Atresia Fantasia by Nicholas F. Chandra And we have Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Mermaid's Coloring Book. Oh, this one I'm so excited about. Adorable Animals Grayscale Coloring Book by Jane Mayday. And the German one. Die Welt unter der Lupe Zulande. I believe it would be the world under the... Oh, what are these called? Like, like a microscope lens for the hand on land. <laughs> by Rita Berman. We have Colorist Special Effects by Helen Elliston. I haven't used this yet, but it might come in handy sometime. We have Friends of Nature by Joey L. Then we have Trivi Chicks by Durian Addict. And we have Inklings 2 by Tanya Bond. And Inklings, Inkling, oh, oh no. All the books got on the floor. Oh, my heart is bleeding. But we have Inklings 3 by Tanya Bond. And Für Unterliga Dür by Millie Mavrata. Let me see what it was called in English. Curious Creatures. We have the coloring book of cards and envelope. envelopes, Nature by Rebecca Jones. We have Über Salatsonaten und Moonshine Katzen by Jen Katz. We have The Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest coloring book by Forest Diver. We have the swear word coloring book and I think it's by Outrageous Katie. Then we have Fantastic Friends by Carrie's Cuttlefish. We have Harry Potter Magical Creatures and a Danish huge one called Mandala Dreams. I have another pile of not colored in books. I forgot, sorry. <laughs> Here we have the little mindfulness coloring book 
It's a collection of pictures by Maria Trolle, Christina Hudelpsant, Emilia Lidahal Oeber, and Maria Junkelgeld. Not so good at Swedish names. Here we have Pro Drogie Stronje Snu by Carolina Kubikowska. And the wonderful Serene by Nicholas F. Chandravianata. And of course, I have Flowey Bunda by Leila Dooley. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was quite a hassle to make and I know you have all been requesting it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.